Hey guys, Hanumt here coming at you once again with more randomised crystal. On the last episode we took down the Mahogany Gym and its leader Price and we also tried to get an encounter over at uh, the World Islands. Yeah, that certainly went down well. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so basically, on this episode here, I'm going to move Babs actually. It's just so that we don't have to change the layout. Because uh, I'm lazy. Uh, we're going to be taking on the um, Underground uh, for Team Rocket. Uh, and then also... Well, I don't know how long it'll end up taking, but we will also have to take down the radio tower. We'll probably have to do that on a separate episode, but regardless of that, um, I'll move Babs first, actually. We will be doing plenty of Team rocket e stuff on this uh, episode. Right, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so let's move back then. So we're going to be going down to the underground. Uh, I don't believe there's anything we have to do first. Probably there is. <laughs> I don't know what though. It's been so long since I've done anything here. I've finally taken over the radio tower. Alright, alright, alright. I think maybe we have to go up to the radio tower first and then we have to go down to the... Uh, yeah, we have to go up to the radio tower first. And then we have to go down to the underground, and then we have to go back to the radio tower and use the card key. I remember now, I remember now. Alright, well this little grunt here has a machop, so nice and easy start here. But hey, at least it's a Pokemon that I was expecting to see at this point in the game. Alright. Not that I would expect Team Rocket to have it. And you've also got an Ursa Ring. Very fancy. Okay, let's go... Let's go into Joe, because Joe has a bit more physical bulk to take down this Ursa Ring, because this thing is pretty beefy. I can't remember who mentioned it, but someone mentioned that Ursa Ring's Gen 2 sprite looks like it's good looks like it's gonna sneeze, and it totally does. <laughs> it totally does. Oh dear. Level 38, I cannot wait for submission, seriously. A fighting type move would be absolutely amazing right now. And yeah, I've got nothing going on. Just normal type moves and seismic toss. It's not good, really. Alright. Moving on here. Huh? Today's password? Help, of course. Well, thank you. Hello, Mrs. Grunt. Ha ha ha! How boring. It was far too easy to take over this place. Come on, keep me amused. Alright, alright, alright. Don't get your knickers in a twist. Come on. Give me a chance here. I'm doing my best. You've got a Dragonair. I got uh, the better version of that right here. And she's called Trisha. And she's going to beat you. Because your Dragonair's got nothing. Nothing on my Dragonite. Speaking of which, down it goes. Okay. <laughs> Who are you? I am the end of the world as you know it. I don't know what that was. Moving on. Hey you. We're Team Rocket, the exploiters of Pokemon. We love being evil. Scared? Mm, no. Not really. Not just no. Electabuzz! Loretta! I miss you! I feel like every single time I'm gonna see an Electabuzz, I'm gonna like, Loretta seriously is the one member of the team I really do miss at the moment. Because she was, like, a main member of the team. Like, the other three deaths that we had didn't really have a chance to get going. <laughs> it was basically just Loretta, the only one who uh, really did anything at this point. Alright, so we've got a Grimer, Mr. Galactic Elliot, up in the building. It's a male as well, which helps. But unfortunately, it's going to go down. It's going to go down. What else have you got? You've got a gold bat. That's something I would expect. Gonna stay in because Joe needs the experience, and this gold bat will probably get him to level 34. Probably. At least I hope so. <sighs> Can we discuss why that just happened, Joe? Seriously. It's not acceptable. Really. It really isn't. Anyway, level 34. Okay. 
You have an Ekans. You've got a lot of Pokemon I would expect you to have as a Team Rocket member. You know, so the only thing is the Electabuzz I wouldn't expect you to have. You've got two, po three Poison types. All of which Team Rocket use a lot. Okay. So we're going to take that Ekans down. No way was it living that. And what is your last Pokemon? You have a Feraligator. Well, I can't really stand against this. So, I think we might switch into um, Trisha. Because she has Thunder Punch. She is my water type slayer at the moment. Because I don't have much else. It is basically just her at the moment. Because I really do need a, uh, a grass type. Really do need a grass type. But hey, we still don't have another uh, another encounter yet. We'll have a couple of encounters before we get to Blackthorn. Um, which would be nice. And we'll also have an encounter at Blackthorn as well. Um, which may be my best chance to get uh, something good before the 8th gym. But, if we don't get anything good, and I'm not exactly hopeful, then what we might do is um, instead we'll go to um, we'll, we'll just we'll just use um, we'll use uh, what's his face what's her, the, her face Teresa we'll use Teresa okay I don't know why my follower alert for my stream is acting up <laughs> suddenly decided I didn't want to show up ignore that all right what else we've got a Nidoran well, it's a poison type, but I wouldn't expect you to have that poison type. That poison type doesn't suit uh, Team Rocket. It's a bit too carefree. A bit too nice. But anyway, down it goes. Ha 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 ha. Ah, I give up. Good, you should give up. Hey! Three years ago, Team Rocket was forced to disband, but we're making a comeback here. I mean really? I mean, you've been doing a couple of other things since then. Have you not? I mean, you were trying to take take over the uh, the well, the slowpoke well at one point. Have you given up on that goal? Alright, let's go for Icy Wind. Which I think actually would do less damage than Surf, but hey-ho. The ice coverage is nice, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> and a Farfetch'd. Speaking of ice type coverage, Get that leak out of your mouth. You're not any better with it. Let me tell you that. See? Still not living. I wish Farfetch'd was better, but it really does suck. And a Beedrill. Very nice. Beedrill is like huge in this generation. Like seriously huge. Where have you suddenly gotten all your size from, Beedrill? Also, Beedrill is really derpy looking this generation. I don't know. I don't know why. Like really derpy looking. Anyway, gwah, don't get cute. I mean, are you flirting with me or something? Hello. The trainers, Pokemon are their beloved partners. It's terrible how Team Rocket's trying to control Pokemon. Well, I mean, you know, stuff happens. Hey you. I see you over there. It feels great ordering Pokemon to commit crimes. Well, I'm just not going to say anything to that. So long as you're having fun, it's whatever. I won't poke my nose in because <laughs> I don't know what I don't want to see where where it'll end up. I don't want to see where my nose will end up. But you have Eradicate, which is something I would definitely expect a Team Rocket Grunt to have. Well, I mean, I guess I'd more expect it to be a Rattata, but, you know. Still, it goes down either way. You're kidding. Nope. I've been given strict orders. I'm to crush anyone who challenges Team Rocket. Well, good luck trying to crush me, because I don't think you're going to quite get that there. But you can try. you got a Magnemite. Magnemite. I'm four times a week to Electro-type moves, but you know what? I'm confident that uh, Joanne can take this Magnemite down. 
because it's a magnemite. If it was a magneton, I might end up be I might end up running, but it's a magnemite, and it's thirteen. Uh, sorry, eleven levels lower. I said thirteen because I said twenty-three. Uh, and a Ledian. Got a Ledian. I wish Ledian was better. I really like Ledian. This icy wind might not take that thing down. Yeah. Ironically, I think Surf might have done. But you know what, regardless of whether the ice type coverage is there or not, I think that um, Icy Wind speed lowering is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Because Joanne isn't particularly fast, so it's nice to have that coverage. And to be honest, most like water types that I would even consider using at this point all would have Ice Punch. So it's much nicer for Joanne to have the Icy Wind there, so she can just use it and get rid of any speed on these Pokemon. She works out much better with it. And lastly, you've got an Arcanine! Very fancy over here. However, Arcanine is giving me bad memories at the moment. Very bad memories, Whirl Islands. <coughs> oh, and Route 39 as well, you know. Oh no, Route 40? No, it was 39. I think. Where is Route 40? Oh, no, 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 yeah. 40 is the route that's east, uh, west of Olivine. Uh, south of Olivine. Hello, Mr. Scientist Man. An unknown child wandering here? Who are you? Again, I'm your worst nightmare. That's what I am. Mark, what have you got? You've got an oddish. Well, this is again what ice type coverage is for, particularly here. Because obviously Icy Wind is definitely going to be doing more than Surf. Okay, what else? What else have you got there? We've got a Remoraid. I mean, I guess I can stay in against that, but I will probably switch here into... Let's switch into Joe. Joe will be able to dispatch of this little fishy. Besides, Mantine can't hurt Remoraid, because I just said Remoraid, oh my god. Remoraid, because Mantine and Remoraid work very well together. Particularly bearing in mind Remoraid is attached to his wing. Or whatever you end up wanting to call that. Macargo! Certainly need to be switching back for that. Certainly need to be switching back. Despite having rock type moves, this thing is weak, four times weak to water. So get rid of it. I probably shouldn't have even used Surf there. I should have used Bubble Beam, but hey-ho. I think we've only got one more trainer left, and I think it might be the Executive. I, I just said it, like Execute. Execu ex executive. I, I can't say that without actually saying Execute. Executive. I'm still saying it like it. That's bugging me. Oh, you give me an item. You give me Sunny Day, don't you? Oh no, it's another, there's another floor still. Okay. Uh, yeah, Joanne's fine. Hey you! Fight me! You plan to rescue the director? That won't be possible because I'm going to beat you. That's pretty big words for such a tiny man! So come on, show me what you- A Pichu, wow. Wow. Just, just wow. What, what else is there to say other than wow? Just go down. If that had been a Raichu, I might have been impressed, but it's a Pichu, so... Nope. You've got a Cafable, that's better. Cafable! Cafable is freaking awesome. I have one. And I love her. Especially considering she's better than yours, because she's shiny. Ugh. Really, Joanne? Come on. Oh, don't get Thunderbolt. Conversion 2. Interesting. Into the Dragon type. Oh, well, I'll use Icy Wind then. I'll use Icy Wind then. Nice. And Joanne goes up to level 35. Very fancy. Okay, we've got a Gligar. Well, I'm going to stay in for that. And we're going to use Icy Wind, just because that really will take this thing down. Bubble Beam would be better. 
because it has more PP right now. But regardless, Icy Wind will punish that thing. Okay. No! Unbelievable! No, it's not unbelievable. It's pretty believable when you realise that my team is just that good. Uh, but moving on here. What, what have you got here, mister? Most excellent. This radio tower will fulfil our grand design. Oh yeah? And you're going to spill the beans about what that grand design is? Or are you just going to sit there? With, it, with your Mewtwo? Oh shit. Okay then. Thank God I brought out Orion. This really might hurt. I guess it's okay. <laughs> Why is it that a freaking... Really? That was a critical hit? Oh my god. Okay, well... A confusion cannot take me down even with a crit at that range, so... It might do now. I want to see how much the... I want to see what the difference is between Ice Punch and... See, Dizzy... Yeah, they're pretty much doing the same amount of damage, really. I'm going to heal here, because a, a crit will take me down, and you do outspeed me, so I'm not going to risk it. Man, why am I not surprised that you got a freaking Mewtwo on your hands, huh? D oh, God. Okay, well, I'm glad that failed, because that would have really bugged me. Anyway, down goes the Mewtwo. Tons of experience. That was pretty much the strongest Pokemon we've come across in the entire game so far. <laughs> a level 30 Mewtwo. Because, I mean, what? Level 35 Natu? Um, what's her face had? She had a level 32 Rapid Ash, but I wouldn't say that that was... I wouldn't say that was stronger than... Uh, I wouldn't say that was stronger than Thingy. Y you! You came to rescue me? Is that what you were expecting? Wrong! I'm an imposter. I pretended to be the real thing to prepare for our takeover. Do you want to know where we hid the real director? Sure, I'll tell you. But only if you can beat me. Now this is going to be a tough fight, because despite the fact that these Pokemon are going to be relatively low level, he does have six of them. Because these obviously would all be coughing and then a wheezing before, so this might be kind of tough, this battle. Oh, that's level 30. Oh, that's level 30. Oh, okay. Well, let's go for Ditty Punch. When I mentioned they were low level, I couldn't remember them being level 30. <laughs> oh, double kick. Oh, shit. I don't want to see double kick. No, no, no. Okay. Well, I hope there's nothing that's going to be super weak to ice, because there's also got an electric type move. Okay, what have you got? you got a Hitmon Lee. Well, we definitely need to switch for that. Don't really know who to switch to, but... Well, I guess I'll go with Trisha. Trisha can deal with this thing. Another level 30. Oh, God. This will be a tough fight. Because six Pokemon, all randomised, all level 30. Please go for a jump kick. Ah. <laughs> ah. That would have been amazing. Oh well, this fly will make short work of that here, Monly. No way you live in that. Okay, what else have you got? You've got an Ursa Ring. Oh my god, you've got some pretty powerful Pokemon right here. Well, we'll do what we did last time. We're going to Joe. You got some crazy Pokemon right here. What was the Pokemon you led with? I can't even remember. Who did I lead with? Oh, yeah, had a Reno, didn't you? Yeah. Need a Reno. <coughs> well, if I'd been a Neo King, then it certainly would have uh, hurt. But still, you've got two fully evolved Pokemon here. I'm wondering what else you got. What else? This is our first, like, real fight. A Cleffer. Okay, well, we'll stay in for that. One of your grunts down there. This is just... Why is it always the star Pokemon is the one that is the worst, like, worst Pokemon? If it had been a Clefable, then it would have been fine, but it's a Cleffer. Got a Furret. That's better. That's better. At least it's evolved. Freaking Cleffer's not going to do anything. 
One of your grunts at a Clefable. Can that not make it so that I can't take this thing down? That'd be great, because I really would like to just KO this thing. Thank you! And lastly, you have a Croconore. We'll stay in, why not? No point really switching. This Croconore won't be able to do much to me anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much the best you got. <laughs> ah, that's not going to do much of anything. This strength, though. I'll be KOing your sorry ass. So! We defeated Executive Petrel, which is his name in, uh... Uh... Par Gold and Soul Silver. We stashed the real director in the underground warehouse. It's at the far end of the underground. But I doubt you'll get that far. So we received the basement key. Thank you. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, oh, you're blocking my way. Why did you place two grunts next to each other like that? Annoying. Okay, then. Right, so let's go back and heal. And I think we'll end off the episode there. And then we'll probably be able to deal with the rest of Team Rocket in the next episode, really. Um, I don't see why not, because we'll have... Yeah, it'll be pretty easy to, let's face it. Because I don't... It'll be basically be the underground, then a few executives in the radio tower, and then... That'll be it. And then that'll be it. That'll be all she wrote. And that'll be nice. Thank you for waiting. Well, thank you for doing what you're doing. Alright, awesome. So, again, I thank you all for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoyed, as always. And uh, make sure to leave a like rating, answer the comment question of the day, subscribe if you haven't already, etc. All that good stuff. I'll see all of you guys very, very soon. I hope you have a fantastic day. And, uh, yeah, have a good one, guys.